In this task, we will design a colorful map of the United States in Inkscape that will be composed on an 8.5 inch by 11 inch piece of paper in landscape orientation. To prepare for the design, we will first set a few document properties and then import the three maps we exported in task 1. Each map will be imported into a separate layer. So in Inkscape, click File, Document Properties. Click the Page tab and set the background properties so by clicking this button here to 255, 255, 255 for RGB and alpha to 0. This sets the background to fully transparent. For the page size, let's set that to US letter 8.5 by 11 by selecting it and for orientation choose landscape. For the show border shadow, click unchecked and by removing the page border shadow, this reduces confusion as to exactly where the actual page border is located. Close the document properties. Now let's import our PDF maps. So click File, Import. And we're first going to choose a lower 48 from uh, the, the task 1. So let me go to GST 101, Lab 3, and let's do the lower 48 states. And we're going to click OK to import the PDF as a new layer in the Inkscape document once we're prompted to do the import. And here we click OK. Alright, so now we're going to have the lower 48 displayed in Inkscape. So let's take a moment to use the uh, Select tool and center the map on the page. So I'm going to click Select. I'm going to center it on the page here. And I'm also going to kind of make the page uh, as large as possible. So I'm going to click uh, this Zoom to Fit Page and Window button here. I could also press 5 on my keyboard. Okay, so uh, note here that every single state is labeled, right? Wisconsin, New York, Rhode Island, Florida. Um, and so this is great news because if you remember back in lab one, they weren't labeling. Um, and we we're going to have to manually create all these labels. Uh, but luckily, the on screen rendering in QGIS is different from the export rendering. Um, and so uh, that means that you should always go ahead and just double check when you do the export that things haven't changed. Um, whether it's in your favor uh, or not, or things have changed whether it's in your favor or not. Uh, in this case it worked out in our favor. Okay, so now we're going to open up the layers. Uh, so I'm going to click the layers button and so since I'm using a smaller resolution I'm going to have to click the double arrows here um, until I find the layers button. There it is. And so notice that there's a single layer called layer 1. And if I click the visibility button the map disappears and you can see it's a closed eye now and to bring it back on I can open the eye. Uh, turning layers visibility on and off helps declutter the document and makes it easier to focus on certain elements. So I'm going to click the layer 1 text to rename it. I'm going to rename it to lower 48 states. Um, then I'm going to press enter on my keyboard. And so the layer is now distinctly named which will make it easier to reference it layer. So now I'm going to click on the lock icon and this is going to lock the layer and prevent me from selecting or modifying the layer. Uh, try selecting the layer with the select tool. So for instance I'm trying to select and click and I can't do it. And so this is really handy when I wish to prevent a layer from being accidentally modified or I want to set it in stone. Uh, but if I want to unset it from stone I can always click the lock toggle again and now you can see that I can select it and move it and modify it at will. So with the lower 48 imported, we're now going to import Hawaii and Alaska into Inkscape. And each map is going to be imported into a separate layer so we can manipulate them separately. So in the Layers panel, I'm going to click the Add New Layer button, and that's that blue plus here. And I'm going to set the name of this layer to Hawaii. And I want its position to be above current, current being lower 48 states. And this is the draw order. Just like in the QGIS layer list, the layers at the top will be drawn on top of the layers below. Okay, so I'm going to select the Hawaii uh, layer, and so if I clicked on the name, it would just select the name, but I'm going to select, select uh, in between the name and the uh, lock here to make sure it's selected. Um, and it, I can also tell it's selected by looking down here. You can see that Hawaii is listed as the target layer. And so if I wanted to select it that way, I could just say select lower 48 or select Hawaii. 
And so now that I have uh, Hawaii selected, I'm going to import what I exported from um, task one. And so this time I'm going to click the import button here on the commands bar. And I'm going to choose hawaii.pdf. And I'm going to click OK to the PDF import settings. And so it's going to be displayed. There we go. And at this point, if you're seeing a white box behind Hawaii, that's because you didn't turn off the background or set the page background to transparent. And so you may need to revisit uh, steps 12 through 15 in task 1 to re-export the Hawaii layer with a transparent background. Okay, so I want to scale Hawaii down smaller. It's quite large at the moment. So I'm going to hold down the control key on my keyboard uh, using the select tool here. I'm going to grab the bottom right hand um, a resize button and, and as I move it, no matter where I move my mouse, it's always going to maintain the same aspect ratio which is what happens when I hold down control. If I release control you can see I can actually skew it to however I want, but I don't want that. I want to maintain the same aspect ratio. So pressing control snaps it back to uh, the size that it should be. And so I'm going to scale it down to a, a reasonably small size and place it down here uh, below Texas. Okay, so I'm now going to repeat those steps to import Alaska into its own layer. So I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to call it uh, Alaska, placing it above the current, making sure it's selected. I have two ways to do it. I'm going to hit the import button, choose Alaska.pdf, hit OK to open it, and again, holding down the control key, I'm going to resize Alaska to a smaller size. And so let's, uh, I'm just going to rough it in for now. I don't need to get it perfect yet. So let's do something like, oh, I don't know, this. Let me make it Hawaii a little bit smaller. Something like that. Uh, again, we're going to, we're going to figure it out uh, exactly here in a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to take a moment to save my work in my lab directory. So I'm going to click File, Save, and I'm going to save this in my lab directory and I'm going to name this the colorful map of the USA and it saves it as a scalable vector graphics file uh, for Inkscape, that's the SVG. I'm going to click Save and now I've saved my document.